In today's video, we're going to be talking about wheel claiming. Hello everybody, my name is Phil and welcome to Miranda Detailing where we make satisfying detailing videos. If you guys haven't already, subscribe and click that bell, that way you get notifications each time our videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. So in today's video, we're talking about wheel cleaning and I'm going to go over some of the tools and products that we use for getting your wheels and tires clean. So as you have noticed in many of our videos, we'll give you a shot of cleaning at least one or two of the tires. Uh, through the whole process to kind of show you how we do that. Now we use a variety of tools and I'm going to give you some uh, tricks and tips on how to avoid the dreaded kickback when using brushes like this. First of all, you do have your wheel brushes, you know, to clean the barrels of your wheels. Now these are very popular. This one is well used. I'm probably going to be chucking it soon because it probably doesn't clean very well anymore. This one maybe still has a little bit more life in it. But these are great for deep cleaning the inner barrels of your wheels. Now the only drawback to these is because of the bristles here. Man, this one is junk. I'm going to throw that one away. So let's talk about this one instead. It still has a little bit more life in it. Uh, and you can actually see the uh, the bristles of the wheel cleaning brush. Now, when you are cleaning your wheels and you, of course, rinse them, you spray your cleaner. I do like to use Super Clean Diluted 1 to 4 for wheels and tires. It's just super efficient. It works really well. So, that's what I use for cleaning wheels and tires. Now, sometimes I will use Speedy Bright from uh, Nano Skin. Uh, or another acid-based cleaner for really, really bad rims. And you can also check out the video I have up here where I clean uh, my own rims with the Nexit Color Tech, which is their iron remover. And that's great for removing particles. Not so much as a deep wheel cleaner per se, but it is good for removing iron particles. Now, when using this brush, if you simply spray down with your cleaner, and start cleaning your wheels with this, you're gonna notice a lot of kickback, which means when you pull this out of your wheelbarrow, out of the spokes, it is going to flick back all sorts of dirt and junk into your face or all over your arms and hands and clothes. So I've had shirts and pants that basically have all these little speckled stains on it because this just kicked back so much dirt. So, one way to avoid that is use a separate bucket, of course, for your wheel cleaning. I use a smaller one and I will put my tools in there. I fill it up with water and then I'll just use a car soap like my citrus wash and gloss. And I will just either use my foam cannon to foam up the bucket. That way you're going to create a ton of foam. That is going to help reduce kickback. Because without that, you're just dealing with the water alone. There's no viscosity to it, so it's just going to flick right back at you. But if you have some thick foam, it stops that. Um, it, it won't maybe stop it completely, but it reduces it to the point where, I mean, I really don't notice it anymore if I do use these brushes. I don't notice that, that kickback when you use tons of foam. So make sure to have tons of foam in your wheel bucket. It helps with that kickback if you're using bristles uh, like this. But now I have switched over to using these types of inner barrel wheel cleaners. These are great. These are from Max Shine and you get a bundle of three of them. They're really nice and soft. They're really nice and soft. And when you put them in the bucket and they get wet, they do kind of mush down a little bit, but still really nice for cleaning inner barrels. This one I just used yesterday, still drying out, but this is their smaller one. So you get three different sizes. You get your large, your medium, and your kind of small. And then I have other little wheel woolies that are, that are smaller, but these are the main ones that I use. And they work great because you don't worry about kickback from the other uh, bristles or the brushes. It's gentle for perhaps sensitive wheels. If you're dealing with painted, uh, maybe black gloss wheels, then 
You don't want to use something too aggressive, so you can use these nice, soft, you know, wheel rollies from Max Shine. So I'll have a link to these down below. Also, if you're interested in tools and products, click up here. It goes to our dedicated page on our website where you can purchase tools and products easily by just clicking on those pictures. Now, as far as the face of the wheel goes, I will use brushes like this. So you have your nice, soft wheel brushes and make sure to get them, you know, a nice wide diameter. And they are great for cleaning the faces of wheels, getting into the lug nut areas. And of course, you know, when you're using this with tons of foam, it adds a lot of lubricity and it keeps the chemical on the paint as well. Because as you know, if you just simply spray the cleaner onto your wheel, it's going to basically going to run down the face of your wheel. But if you have the foam on there, it kind of sticks a little bit better. So in my mind, that's what I think of when I'm using a cleaner like that. I want to make sure that I have some foam that sticks on to the wheel. So these are great. They work amazingly for those intricate parts on the face of the wheels. Now for some wheels, if they're big enough and easy enough where you're not dealing with intricate spokes, I just use a brush like this. And this is soft enough. It is gentle enough to clean the face of the wheels. Um, if you need to get into wheel wells, big trucks, things like that, you can get a long handle brush like this. And this helps with getting inside of those wheel wells and brushing everything and cleaning everything. Now, as far as the tires go, I have a couple of different options. I don't use this one as much. I found this one. This is actually um, made by Casabella, the same company that makes the brush that I use, the little skinny one that I use when vacuuming to get into those tight spaces. This is the same company and they make this. I picked this up locally. I think it was either at a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx in their cleaning section, which they'll always have some sort of brushes or something there. So you can pick them up cheap. I'll see if I can find a link to this and I'll put it down below. But the bristles are stiff enough, actually comparable to that. And a little bit more ergonomic with a nice little bent, you know, head and handle. And I find this to be perfect for cleaning tires. So yeah, I like this brush for cleaning tires. It works really well. I love this brush for cleaning tires. It works really well. So another tool that I use to clean the face of the brushes is this little guy. This is my homemade little uh, wash mitt, my wheel mitt. So I basically just took two microfiber towels and I sewed them together to kind of make this nice little mitt with a little point here so that my finger can actually go in that point and get into intricate areas of the wheel. So I considered maybe making these and selling them. Let me know what you think. Do you think that's something that uh, you guys as detailers would want to purchase? Something as simple as this that's large enough for your hand to clean, to clean wheels? Let me know. So that's it guys. That's what I use for tools for cleaning wheels and tires and wheel wells. So that's it guys, those are the tools and mostly the products that I use for cleaning the wheels and tires on a vehicle. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them down below. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with others who may enjoy it or benefit from it. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. That way you get notifications each time our videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. So thank you guys, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.